Hi, readers. Miss Chris here. Thanks for joining me for a special book called Taylor the Thankful Turkey, written by Sonica Ellis and illustrations by Nyla Shohai. All right, let's get right into it and see what Taylor the Thankful Turkey is up to. It was Thanksgiving Day in the town of Cranberry Hills, and Taylor Turkey was dressed up and ready to go. He had a list of all the houses he needed to visit. Ooh, do you see his list there? So he doesn't forget who he's going to visit. Taylor grabbed his basket of goodies, and off he went down the road to Teddy Bear's house. When he arrived, Taylor knocked on the door. Hello, Taylor said. I wanted to let you know that I am thankful for all the things you have done for me. I would like to give you a jar of sweet homemade honey sauce. <gasps> Why, thank you, Taylor. That's really nice of you, Teddy replied. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. Oh, wow. Taylor hurried to the next house on his list. Once again, he knocked on the door. Let's see who answers. Ooh, this time, Mrs. Squirrel. Oh. Hello, Taylor. What a pleasant surprise. To what do I owe this pleasure? She asked. I wanted to stop by and say thank you, said Taylor. I made some roasted pumpkin seeds just for you. How kind of you, exclaimed Mrs. Squirrel. Happy Thanksgiving, Taylor. Taylor walked a little further and soon arrived at Mr. Rabbit's house. Just as he was about to knock, the door opened. Well, hello, Taylor. It's always nice to see you, said Mr. Rabbit. <laughs> I wanted to stop by and give you my basket of carrots, said Taylor. They're fresh from my garden. Happy Thanksgiving, Mr. Rabbit. Whoa, those are some delicious looking carrots. So orange and healthy. Okay. Taylor visited all his neighbors, family, and friends. He told them how thankful he was to have them in his life and he gave each of them something from his garden. Wow, what do you see in his beautiful garden? I see some pumpkins, some more carrots, oh, and some healthy green lettuce, yum. Before long, word of what Taylor had done spread through the town. Everyone decided to follow in Taylor's footsteps. Oh, wow. Gifts of sweet potato pie and cranberry jams were exchanged. Letters and words of encouragement were shared, and the message was always the same. Big or small, always be thankful for what you have. The end. Oh, what a beautiful story about Taylor the Thankful Turkey. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Don't forget to subscribe so you can read the next story with me. Bye-bye.